Hey guys, it's Katie, and today I want to talk to you about Ketchikan, Alaska. I lived there with my family for about seven months, so I kind of want to give you kind of my top three favorite things to do if you're going to be in Ketchikan. And a lot of people go on vacation to Ketchikan. Usually it is a stop on their cruise ship, their Alaskan cruise. The first thing that I would recommend coming to Ketchikan would be Ward Lake. If it's a nice sunny day in Ketchikan, which you could possibly get 50% um, of the time, then you will find that Ward Lake is a beautiful place to kind of spend the day on the lake. It has kind of a sandy shore, so if you have kids, it's a great place for them to run around, play in the sand and the mud. Um, the water's probably too cold, but you could dip a toe in and be okay. It also has a beautiful path that goes all the way around the lake. It takes, um, it's about a mile all the way around. So again, it's something that you could take the kids on uh, to kind of get them outdoors. It's beautiful to use up the lake. Sometimes you can catch people fly fishing, which is always cool to watch. So Ward Lake would be one of my biggest recommendations. You will have to take either a cab ride or you'll have to rent a car. Sometimes they offer like a bus ride to Ward Lake uh, and they have restrooms and picnic tables there as well, which you can hang out pretty much all day. So my second recommendation is a float plane or any sort of small aircraft that they have. It is uh, huge for float planes. Um, because Ketchikan is an island, you have to get there by boat or by plane. Um, and so there are tons of little planes throughout the area. I was in Ketchikan. I took a bush pilot flight to deliver mail to some of the small towns um, and islands uh, around Ketchikan. There's tons of views out all the windows and it's a great way to see a large span of southern Alaska in a short period of time. I, probably my biggest recommendation in Ketchikan is Herring Cove Drive uh, south on the island. It's a beautiful drive to get to Herring Cove. Uh, because you have the coast on one side and the mountains on the other. Once you get there, you can pretty much see all the wildlife of the area in one place. So it's kind of a small little inlet of water that has a bridge and the water comes in from the ocean and fills the little cove. And then when the tide goes out, you know, the cove goes out. There's so often you can see sea otters, you can see tons of salmon during the season of the summertime. This is a great place to see tons of eagles. They are, it's like seagulls on the beach. They are everywhere. You can see them catching food. You can see them just sitting around looking beautiful. You can get some great pictures. Also, if you're there early in the morning and sometimes around dusk, you can see bears. There are so many beautiful bears in Alaska. There are babies, cubs, there are mama bears. They all go there to feed on all the fish that are in the cove. So it's a great place to catch a bear fighting. Uh, so bring your camera for sure. And then also, if you look out to the ocean side of the cove, you can sometimes even catch whales. If it's that time of year and it's the right perfect time, you can catch a whale uh, crossing as well. So all of the wildlife of Ketchikan kind of in one spot. It's, you got to hit the sweet spot in order to see everything, but a lot of times you can get lucky. And then if you want to go a little further south to eat a delicious homemade type of a cheeseburger and have a Alaskan craft beer, there's a little place called the Hole in the Wall and it is literally a hole in the wall. Um, it's right on the water. It's a tiny little place. They got good food and good beer and it's a good way to kind of end your day and catch a can before you head back to the cruise ship or head back to your hotel. So um, I'm going to make some more videos, a uh, little bit more detailed about different things about Catch a Can, but this is just to give you an idea of what I think the top three things to do while you're in the Catch a Can. Just remember it rains a lot of the time in Catch a Can. 
So if you're going there, you want to make sure whether it's the winter or the summer, which will probably be the summertime, uh, you want to bring a rain coat. Also, if you have rain boots or any kind of, you know, waterproof boot, you want to bring those as well. Keep them dry and warm. Let me know if you have any questions. I like to talk about it.